It was an all-night sky show from Mandra to Perth out to Northern. The first lightning bolt was recorded about 11 last night. The sky was still electrified at 9 this morning. Dozens of videos and some incredible pictures were sent in. Weather watchers say more than 18,000 lightning bolts were recorded last night. One of them hit Mandra father, Daniel Schroeder. My whole chest felt like someone had just literally hit me with a shovel. It's just incredible. The 29-year-old says he was under his back pergola when a lightning bolt fried a 12-metre palm tree in his backyard, then shot towards him, off a table and through the baby chair at his feet. Just instant chest pain, which made me step back, and then I've fallen into the chair as well and just stood there thinking, basically, there's going to be another bolt, so I did the bolt and ran straight inside as quick as I could. Got into the kitchen and couldn't go any further, just had to lay there. That's Daniel's palm tree on fire, filmed by a neighbour. The tree exploded with the lightning strike. That's charred. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's better that than me, really. Yeah. <laughs> Dan got the all clear at hospital. Three other people were hit in Baldivis, Welshpool and Myree, one still in hospital. The lightning knocked out power to 22,000. There was suburban kayaking in Hall's Head. Shane Street flooded, so Jim Lee went for a paddle. And I wanted to actually go and visit my mate, uh, Mal, that lives up the road, so I, I kayaked um, from that side across the intersection into his front yard. It wasn't as fun for Jackie Tor. Her house nearby flooded. Christmas present room. <laughs> Nolene Barrett's house in Spearwood was flooded too. The third time it's happened. They couldn't even see I had a lawn that was just under flood. There were 80 calls for emergency help. A big tree came down in Wandawi. Roads were underwater in Midvale and Maidavale. There were problems at the airport. Again, flights delayed up to an hour. From planes to trains, the Mandra and Joondalup lines were temporarily stopped due to a power outage. At Mosman Bay, four boats washed up on the shore. Within hours, summer returned as the temperature nudged 37. Well, the sun's out now, but last night Mandra got drenched. From about one this morning to about lunchtime, the city received about 60 mils of rain. That's six times the monthly average. The biggest fall, Chidlow, 86 millimetres. 